So in this video, I'll be showing you how to disable your touch screen. Perhaps you don't want it to be enabled because maybe because someone plays with it or your screen is faulty and just the icons are moving on its own. This will help you disable it. Take note, there are three methods. The first method is um, sort of a temporary solution because if there is an update, people have complained that it's usually comes back the touch screen is enabled on its own but just follow this step so you go to device manager and you select human interface devices then you go to hd com compliant touch screen then you right click on it and then disable the device okay this is the touch screen you click on yes so this will disable it and uh, you can go ahead and restart the computer but I said you need to apply the remaining two steps because sometimes when you have an update with Microsoft their stuff is not always um, stable so it's could enable um, itself back so type reg regedit okay then it brings you to this place you select the H key current user then after selecting that you you click on the drop down for microsoft or for software rather then you click on the drop down for microsoft the microsoft folder so once you've done that you just have to scroll down to the end and we should be looking for wisp we should be looking for wisp and um, once you see wisp you click on it you select the touch you just double click on touch okay then it opens by your by the right hand corner what you will do is to type touch gate t-o-u-c-h then g-a-t-e so you right click on it and then you select the word 32 bits then here you type the touch gate what the touch gate does is acts as like a gate that prevents the touch screen from working so you type touch gate the way it is make sure the upper case is the same way it is here okay so when you want to disable it you can just come um, navigate back to this point and delete this um, touch gate and then your touch screen will start functioning back okay so you, this is the third method this third method is like what seals it or what makes it um, uh, um, what makes it permanent not permanent but it makes it stable so that it does not disable on its own or in re enable itself so you type this the way you see it make sure you follow the exact um, steps that is, that is on the screen make sure your upper case is the same make sure the space wherever you see space make sure you also add your space then once you type all this you'll be able to um, it to be permanent or it to be done as you can see it's no longer touching so 
if you found this useful please leave a like and also consider subscribing i'll see you in my next video